Hi everyone, my name is Ina and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another first impressions and it is going to be on a new product from Sansan. This is their lip crayon right here and it looks like this. Can it yung packaging niya? And I like it kasi ang daming bagong products ng Sansan and after this video, well, sometime after this video, I will be filming another first impressions. And don, mas marami akong itetest na bagong Sans and products on my face. If you watch my previous haul video, you can check it out right here. Um, I showed you a few Sans and products that I recently got, mga bagong products from Sans and, and those are the products that I will be featuring in my next first impressions. But for today, ito mo na yung gawin natin, kasi I'm excited. I'm more excited to try this out on my face. Wala lang, gusto ko lang siya. So it's just called the Sansan Lip Crayon. It claims to be long wearing and that it has a matte finish. This has vitamin C and E and it is in the shade Dazzling Fuchsia. Sabi dito that this is made in Germany. Wow, that's a first kasi usually yung Sansan made in China, di ba? So ito made in Germany and expiration date down niya is on September 2018. Tapos, this one contains 2.8 grams of the product. So, bongga na rin yun. Manufacturing date, March 2016. So, let me just go ahead and open this up because I'm really excited to try this out on my face. And it kind of looked like a zombie na parang full-on face makeup and walang lip product. So, ayan, na-open ko na siya. And by the way, I purchased this for 165 pesos. Alright, so I don't really have any lip balm on right now. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this product directly on my lips. And tignan natin how it will perform. Ooh! Kita niyo Let me just do a swatch para makita niyo. Like, look at this. I'm gonna apply a very light pressure lang. And bonga. It is super pigmented and creamy. Hindi ko na expect na magiging super creamy niya kasi alam niyo niya ganito packaging. I was thinking it would be a bit hard, pero it's actually very creamy. Bonga. And very pigmented. Mm, my smell para siya, guys. It smells it smells like peppermint. And ayan na siya guys! Ang ganda! Joke! <laughs> Alright, so, bongga siya kasi pwede mo rin siyang gamitin as a lip liner and a lip color all in one! Diba? Bongga! Right, so it definitely has a cooling sensation when you apply it on your lips. It glides on very smoothly, no tugging whatsoever. And lagay muna natin siya sa entire lip ko because this looks a bit crazy. Alright, there you go, you guys. I really, really like it. I It just feels like a normal lipstick in a pencil form. So, it's really very creamy, no tugging whatsoever on the lips, and it glides on very smoothly. Parang paulit ulit yung sinasabi ko. Um, siguro medyo nahirapan lang ako kasi um, I, mean, I am used to applying lip liners pero hindi ganito pa jumbo pencil na lip liner and I'm just used to applying lipsticks na nasa bullet so medyo nahirapan ako dito but yeah okay siya I like the color as well parang pinaka mm, bam parang pinaka ano niya binibigyan niya ako ng konting oomph parang super lively na ng face ko kahit kanina medyo boring but this just gives a nice pop of color on my face. And I'm just so impressed. I'm so impressed with this lip product. Na ito, guys. I really, really, really like it as of the moment. <sighs> yeah. As you can see naman, right now, the um, lip product is actually not super matte looking as of the moment. Um, meron pa rin siyang konti sheen, especially right here sa upper part of my lip. But um, it, it also feels a bit tacky kapag nag-touch yung upper and lower lip ko. But it doesn't really bother me kasi hindi naman super tacky talaga na parang, parang, parang kagaya nung LA Girl matte lip gloss pag naglagay ka ng makapal na layer nun it will feel very very tacky on your lips and this one is just okay okay lang siya i love it so much kaya lang nakakayalo siya ng ngipin but wala na tayong magagawa dyan it's okay hindi nagiging obvious masyado yung aking lip lines with this one like yung konting lines sa aking lips kasi with other um, matte lipsticks like for example yung me now super 
super obvious yung ano ko, lip lines ko nun. But this one is really nice. It makes my lips look very juicy and very plump kahit na matte lipstick siya. Yeah, I like it so far. And it feels very comfortable on the lips. So I think it's been like, I wanna say two minutes since we applied this one. Tignan natin kung transfer proof ba siya or hindi. No finish at transfer proof at all. Pero, kahit after kissing my hand, andito pa rin yung product sa lips ko. And hindi naman siya nag fade. No, hindi siya nag fade. Bongga pa rin yung color and yung vibrance. Anyway, um, tignan muna natin kung magla last ba siya all throughout the day. Later, I will be eating my snacks. And right now, it is 2.38 in the afternoon. So, I will check back again later today. Tignan natin kung magla last ba itong lip color na ito all throughout the day or after eating. Hey guys, just got home. I'm back for my first update on this lipstick. It is now 8.38 in the evening. So, I guess it's been 6 hours since we last applied um, the lipstick on my lips. And I already ate once. Kumain lang ako ng medyo... I mixed snacks and dinner together. So, sninner. Sninner. <laughs> I had my sninner kanina mga 5 p.m. Oh my gosh, pasensya na. I just looked at myself in the mirror and I saw that I look really greasy right now. Pardon my really greasy face. Um, yeah. Pag pasensya nyo na. But let's just focus on the lips for now. Bonga. Yung nawalan lang talaga ng color is yung dito. Yung pinaka inner part ng ating lips lang talaga yung nawalan ng color. Pero hindi talaga siya super noticeable, no? I don't know if you can see up close. Ayan, I don't really know if you can see up close. Pero yung pinaka inner part ng ating lip lang talaga yung nawala ng color. So in my opinion, this actually looks very, very good. Considering na kumain ako ng sandwich na medyo oily. Actually, dalawang sandwich yung kinain ko. And then the bacon and the like yung sandwich spread was like touching my lips. And considering medyo oily yung, di ba, spread. So mayonnaise, so medyo oily talaga siya. Considering that touched my lip and I was eating like a barbarian <laughs> kasi gutom na gutom na ako. Um, medyo nag-transfer din yung lipstick sa kinain ko na sandwich and sa ano din, sa mug ng coffee ko and sa aking tubig. So, yeah. Okay lang naman yun kahit na nag-transfer siya kasi andito pa rin yung pigment ng lipstick. Parang wala lang nangyari. And siguro gagawin ko na lang yung spreading technique para mas magbukha siyang bongga. Parang no need to reapply naman itong lipstick na ito. Pasensya nyo na. Oh my gosh. I'm sweating like a pig right now. Like dito sa upper and lower lip. Pasensya na kayo ha. Ayan, I just spread the lipstick around and it looks brand new. It definitely looks 100% matte na ngayon. And hindi na siya as tacky as how it felt earlier. Medyo konti na lang yung tackiness niya. Hindi mo na nga makifeel na tacky siya, pero meron konti-konting ganung feeling. And my lips still don't look dry or chapped right now. Pero hindi na siya ganun ka parang nourish tignan as how we initially applied it. Um, it still feels very comfortable on the lips. Para nakalimutan ko na nga na nakalipstick pala ako. Now, let's test kung medyo kiss-proof na siya right now. Hindi pa rin, meron pa rin siyang konting transfer, but the lipstick is still there. That is my minute check-in on this lip product right here. Still loving it as of the moment. And I will get back to you guys later for my final update. Hello everyone! I'm back for my final update. And it's actually pretty late. It's now 1.46 a.m. So I guess it has been like 9 hours? 10 hours? 10 hours? 10? I don't know. I don't know. I forgot. Basta. Kailan ba tayo nagsimula? Kalimutan ko na. Basta I think it's been like 9 or 10 hours since we last applied this lipstick on my lips. I never retouched at all. And after the last update ko, I actually ate snacks. Actually, I just had chips um, and a lot of water. So, right now, ano bang pagbabago sa ating lips? Ano bang pagbabago? May pagbabago ba? By the way, pardon my makeup. It looks really bad right now. It's very blotchy and whatever. But just look at my lips. So, ito na yung kalabasan ng lips ko right now. For me, ha? Meron pa rin siyang pigment sa aking lips. Considering that it is like the end of the night. And actually, I'm gonna go to sleep na after I remove all of this makeup. And 
ganito pa rin ang aking lips. This is really, really, really good. So, na-spread ko na siya all around my lips. And it still looks pretty good, you guys. Acceptable pa rin to para sa akin. Pero syempre, hindi na siya ganun ka-vibrant as how we applied it earlier. Meron ako nakita ng konting mga dry patches or mga konting dry skin. Pero hindi naman siya actually totally obvious pag kausap mo ko. Pero pag manipit on, ganyan pa lang. But makikita mo talaga. Pero wala naman sigurong taong ganyan kalapit na kausap ka, diba? So, for me, I think this is a really, really, really good product. 5 out of 5. Yung con lang na masasabi ko sa product na ito is that you have to sharpen it. Hindi naman ito retractable, diba? No, it's not retractable. So, you need to bring a sharpener with you kasi, you know, baka mapudpud na siya tapos hindi ka makapag-retouch. Now, tignan natin kung ano yung magiging kalabasan niya kung pinatong mo lang siya sa lipstick mo like after wearing it for long period of hours, kung ano yung magiging kalabasan after retouching. Yan, there you go, you guys. Na-retouch ko na siya and it glided on very, very smoothly para lang yung first application natin as in very, very smooth talaga. I'm really impressed with this product. Walang, walang pagbabago sa kanya kahit na nare-apply ko na siya over old lipstick, diba? Which has been there for a few hours or long period of hours. Okay na okay pa rin siya and 5 out of 5 talaga itong lipstick na ito for me. I really, really, really love it. Like, the feeling of it is very comfortable. Your color is very vibrant. Pigmentation is bonga. Very creamy. Glides on the lips very smoothly. Very pigmented. As in, wala akong masasabing pangit sa kanya. Hindi siya drying, matte siya, and basta. Lahat ng maganda nasa kanya. Kulang na lang talaga is maging retractable siya para perfect na siya. Pero for me, perfect pa rin siya kahit na hindi siya retractable. And I think you guys should give it a try as well. Kasi it's very long lasting and bongga lang siya for me. I really like it. I'm planning to get more shades soon kung meron pa akong maabutan. Kasi nung binili ko ito and binilhan ko rin si Tresi, um, konti na lang yung shades na available. So, that's a bummer. But, go ahead. Run to your nearest HBC counter and get your hands on your own lip crayon. Chuck, parang sponsored lang. But no, how I wish. Okay. Anyway, um, that is it for this review, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I upload here every other day and I would love for you all to be part of my family. So, um, also, comment down below kung na-try nyo na itong product na ito and tell me your thoughts about it. Also, what are your favorite shades? Because I'm planning to get more shades. Comment down below. I will read all of your comments and I will try my best to respond to all the comments. As always naman, I always do that. So yeah, again, thank you all so much for watching. I love you all. Hopefully, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. More local makeup product reviews coming soon. So, don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Mwah. Run to your nearest error. <laughs> right? So very. Ano ko galoha na nang yayari? Bakit ang engay engay? My airplane pa.